Oh, yep, here we go. We've got another one. Any pregnancy comes with its set of risks. She's got 12 puppies that she needs to push out. So there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, breathe. I just hope there's something we can do to bring this pup through. Come on, girlfriend. Up on the Gold Coast at the Animal Emergency Service, Marie has arrived with her heavily pregnant golden retriever, Greta. Good girl. Come on. Greta is fun-loving. She is the light of my life. So I'm coming in today to get Alex to have a look. Here she is. Hey, Greta. She's looking ready. Very pregnant. Isn't she? <laughs> You're looking wonderful, aren't you? Glowing, I think, would be the way you put it. Aww. Alex needs to determine exactly how many puppies they could be dealing with. All ready to pop those pups out? I wonder how many you've got in there. When dogs have puppies, there are a number of things that can go wrong, which is why we do x-ray and ultrasound. Come on. Let's go. Good girl. My dog's not going up there unless the table's clean. <laughs> It's to be clean for my girl to get up there. Marie isn't just a client, she also works with Alex. She's the kennel attendant in our hospital, which means she pretty much cleans this whole place. All done. We call her Nana Marie because she really is like our Nana. Hey Greta, how you doing? Gerardo is my life partner, but he's also my partner in the hospital. Greta, come over here. Come Greta. And he's very helpful when it comes to heavy lifting. Oh, oh big girl. God. Girl. So how many puppies do you think she's got in there, Marie? I think around about 10. I'm going to go with 12. You're going with 12? Yeah. We'll see. Jim. Let's see. Eight. Eight, 10, 12. It's always a bit of a guessing game as to how many puppies are in there. You ready, sweetie? I'm just going to roll you over, Greta. Good girl, good girl. There you go. That's my girl. Ready, team? I think we've pretty much got all of her in. OK, I'll press the button. One, two, three. Find out if I'm the winner. Look at that! Whoa! Look at them all. Wow. There's a lot of babies. Look how crowded there. they are. There's yeah. not room for all of them. We must be fighting for space. With the x ray showing multiple puppies overlapping, Alex is concerned some might not be getting enough oxygen or could be crushed. When you've got that many puppies that are all jammed inside a confined space, there's a lot of things that could go wrong. Literally filling all of her belly there. Owner Marie and vets Alex and Gerardo want to settle a bet and find out how many puppies there are. Here we go. One, two, three. We've taken the x-rays and guess what? 10, 11. Really? 12. There's 12 puppies in there. Alex has won the bet, but now must investigate the possible complications of such a large litter. All right, let's take her through. We know we're there. Any pregnancy comes with its set of risks. She's got 12 puppies that she needs to push out and she may just become exhausted and not be able to deliver all those puppies herself. If at any stage we feel like she's in trouble, then we would have to discuss about whether we would need to take her to surgery to do a caesarean. The health of each pup is also critical, so Alex must now perform a vital examination. Ultrasound will allow us to see how healthy the puppies are. So we'll be looking for the heart rates of the puppies and that'll help to tell us whether they're in any distress or not. So there's the heart beating. The heart rate for this particular puppy is 185 beats a minute. It's a perfect little puppy heart. It is crowded in there, isn't it? I don't think anyone wants to be that close to their brothers and sisters. <laughs> So is it possible because there's so many puppies crammed in there that we could be coming into some trouble? That is possible. When you have that many puppies in there all fighting for nutrition and, and blood supply, it can mean that some of them are not getting the nutrient supply that they need. Because if some of them are in distress, it does happen sometimes that we'll have to get in there and get them out quicker, do a caesarean if we have to. You do what's necessary. Marie? These tests help us to give us more information, but really, we're not going to know how things are going to go until it actually comes time for her to deliver. OK. Now, we can't possibly see all of the puppies on ultrasound, but the ones we can see look healthy, and that's really good news. So everything so far is looking good. Perfect. Thank you very much. But the news is bittersweet for owner Marie. Hi, Dando. This is where I have to totally rely on, on you. 
Alex, Chris. I'm not going to be here, I don't think. I have to fly over to New Zealand. My mum's... My mother's dying. So, I fly out tomorrow morning. I'm staying there until she passes away, which is probably going to be within the next 48 hours, so I totally have to rely on you, Alex. And she'll be a bit well looked after with my friend Judith, who's flying over from New Zealand to look after her for me. You take care of your mum. Yep. Judith and I can look after Greta. Obviously, we're going to let you know how we're going every day. Um, and when it's time for her to have the pups, we'll be there with her. I feel like I'm letting Greta down, but I'm not, because I know that you're going to be there, so... Good girl. It breaks my heart to leave her, but it would break my heart more if I wasn't with my mum. The most important thing now is for you to be with your mum. Yeah, my mum was diagnosed a few weeks ago with terminal cancer, and there is not much hope of her lasting until the weekend. Marie, you know we're going to look, take really good care of her and look after her. Thanks, mate. <laughs> If Greta can just hold on till Tuesday, I'd be the happiest person in the world. But if she can't, she's in really good hands. I trust her with you. We could really start to see Greta deliver these puppies at any moment. And so I'm going to be there for her in every way that I can. You try and wait. Mm -hmm. On the Gold Coast, the moment is finally here. After a long wait, Greta is in labour. So well written. And she's already delivered five of her 12 puppies. She just got into it and knew what to do and off she went. Sadly, owner Marie is in New Zealand to be with her terminally ill mother. So daughter Melanie and friend Judith have been on puppy watch. A little stressful, but me and Judith have been a good team, so it's been good. But with so many puppies expected through the night, They've called in vets Alex and Gerardo for much needed help. When I got the phone call, I turned to G and said, I promised Marie that I would be there, so let's go. Hello? Hello! Oh my goodness, it's all happening. <laughs> Hello! Sure wow. is. How many have we got so far? Three boys and two girls. Wonderful. Marie is going to be so excited. Are you cleaning your puppies already, Greta? She's just been amazing. She's just acing this. The licking that she does will encourage them to take breaths. Although Greta's doing an incredible job helping her puppies to breathe... And oh, then, and they've got some pushing there. ..she's feeling the strain of delivering such a big litter. And puppy number five is struggling. Yeah, this one's a bit blue, hey? Yeah, he's a bit quiet, that one. Yeah, let me rub him before a bit. She's a first-time mum. She's got a lot of puppies. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. Yeah, when they're born, their lungs are filled with fluid, so they have to quickly get rid of that fluid to try to then get air in their lungs. That's sort of the reason why Mr Blue looks a little bit blue. A little bit blue, he actually. He looks a little bit blue. So. Gerardo's vigorous rubbing works. That's better. Yeah, and I, I think there's another one on the way. Here we go, we've got a puppy. Puppy, good yeah. towel. Come on, push little darling. Oh, with good girl Greta. Puppy number six arrives, and it's a little boy. So this little pup's still got the placenta attached, but we're just going to let Greta... Have a good lick there. That's it. Suddenly, there's another surprise arrival. Owner Marie calling from New Zealand. Hey, Marie. We got six bundles of joy for you, Nana. You're doing a wonderful job. Greta gets all the credit. She's, she's doing all the hard work here. And I think there's another one on the way very shortly. Oh, yep, here we go. We got another one. Here we go. Yay. Wow. Marie has just been to her mother's funeral today. This would have to be one of the saddest days of Marie's life. But seeing these puppies being delivered, I think it's quite healing. Gosh, that one caught me completely by surprise. <laughs> An emotional Marie is overjoyed to witness the arrival of three more puppies. She doesn't seem to be having any problem at all. She's been great. But no-one can relax just yet as a tenth puppy arrives. 
that to you. Up there. Okay. Okay. This tiny puppy is in trouble. Um, Very lively. Come on, sweetheart. I delivered the tenth pup, and I just know there's something wrong. Come on, breathe. Come on, little. I just hope there's something we can do to bring this pup through. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Grisha, we are trying, honey. Come on. The puppy's heartbeat is faint and it's not breathing. I really want to be able to save this little girl. I'm also aware that Marie's on. She's watching all of this. And I can only wonder what she must be going through at the moment. Is it not responding? No, it's only been doing this for a while. Mm. G and Judith are working on this little pup, but I know from G's face that he's really not getting any response. It's no movement at all. We've lost the fight for this little girl. Lost one, Mary. I'm sorry. We're all devastated, but we've got to get back to Greta because she's still got more puppies to deliver. Good girl. And she's going to need all the support she can get. Oh, that was a big push, that one. She's looking really tired, eh? I think she's given it everything to this point. Greta, you're a good girl, darling. This one's coming backwards. It's puppy number 11. Oh, that's the whole thing. No, there's not much movement. Come on, come on. All right, Droid, I'm going to hand this one to you. Three, one, yep. two. Yep, you want to? Yep. Oh, come on. Come on, mate. We've got a light one. Yay. Listen to that, Dina. Can you hear that, Marie? Yeah, I can. There's a lot of strength in this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a great noise that is, hey? That's a relief to hear that. Nice pink little nose. Means she's taking lots of oxygen through nice dry lungs, I think there's one more on the way, and I. We just need her to get this last one out. Here we go. Come on. He's moving. He's moving, Marie. Lucky last. Pretty big for the last one. Six. It's a boy. <laughs> hey, that's your last baby. Good girl, Rima. The last puppies arrive. How's that little one going? Yes. Yeah. And they look great. They're in good health. Greta, she looks tired. We're all pretty tired, actually. <laughs> Very proud of Greta. She's a good mummy. You've done an awesome job, Alex and Gerardo. Mm -hmm. And Judith and Mouse. Thank you so much. I think we've all done a fantastic job, but the credit has to go to Greta. 11 of Greta's puppies have made it, but they'll have to be closely monitored over the next few critical days to make sure they're healthy. You just come home safely, Nana, and your extended family will be waiting for you when you get here. <laughs> it's a big family. It sure is. You're going to be one busy Nana. Marie is now back from New Zealand and has her hands full helping Greta with her thriving family. Good babies. And they're about to get some very excited visitors. I'm oh, really looking forward to seeing those puppies, honey. Yes. Hello! <laughs> Alex and Gerardo are keen to see how the newly expanded family is doing. Oh my goodness. Is that not the cutest thing? Gosh, she's so attentive, isn't she? She's doing a really good job. Greta looks fantastic. She's obviously loving her new mum life. She's looking after them. She's in there making sure they're OK. She just looks like she's born to do this. You smell like puppies. One of the things we wanted to do today was actually do a little health check on the pups, but once you see them walking around in their little crate, crawling around, making puppy sounds and suckling healthily, there's, there's nothing we needed to do. They just looked amazing. Now your eyes are open, there's no stopping you guys, I'm sure. I've seen lots of puppies born before, but these guys, this is really special because Marie's part of our family at the hospital and because I was part of bringing them into the world and seeing them now, it's a special moment. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content. And if you love Bondi Vet, then check out our Bondi Pet Marketplace at bondipet.com for a great range of Aussie pet products and services. We can't wait to see you there.